running on empty and pushing their luck. More drivers are getting stranded as gas prices skyrocket. It's getting so bad tonight. The CHP is issuing a warning. Yeah, what you do after you hit empty could lead to some dangerous situations at a very high cost. Daniel Mendez's fuel gauge was on empty when he pulled into this gas station. Right now I drove in and it was uh, it had a little light on. And he's not the only one. Yeah, this one's on E. And while they were able to make it with just drops to spare, the CHP says many more drivers are getting stranded. Don't push it. Don't say, I know my car when it's on E, I have five more miles. Just get yourself to the gas station. Officers say the trend has been getting worse as gas prices soar. We're just seeing an increase in people, you know, risking going that extra mile, two mile, five miles, um, and some of them aren't making it. And while gas prices might be high, the cost of calling a tow truck for assistance is much higher. $70 for the tow fee, a $60 call out fee, in addition to the gas. Now some areas do have freeway service patrol trucks that will help stranded motorists for free, but they only work certain times of day in high traffic areas. They're gonna hook that vehicle up as quickly as they can and take it off to the next exit. So what should drivers do if they run out of gas? We're getting answers. The best thing is if you call 911 from your cell phone, that's Highway Patrol's dispatch. You said, this is what I need. They're going to send an officer to you. Officers say, do not try to push your car or walk on the side of the road to a gas station. That is a bad idea. It is unsafe. Frustration over fuel prices causing safety concerns on Valley roadways. Gas prices need to go down so that people don't go running out of fuel on the freeway. And then there's time. CHP says running out of gas can also take up a whole lot of your time since it often takes more than an hour for a tow truck to show up.